All right, so we're gonna put you guys through uh, a bit of a circuit that's meant to test your mental fortitude and your performance skills under fire. Three teams of three. Each team is gonna have one of our pros in it. I really want you guys to compete. So there's four stations, okay? The first station is actually gonna be in here involving no physical activity whatsoever. It's gonna be a test. This one is pretty simple. It's just a series of anagrams. Anagrams are like a bunch of letters basically you scrambled up and you have to de-scramble them to make a word. The issue is uh, you don't have a lot of time. Go. Ah, oh, crap. <laughs> <laughs> Pins down. Oh, dang it, I pulled away. Dang it. Space. All right, y'all head, y'all head back to the locker room. We're gonna, we're gonna go from there. We have one on that two X's in it. We can. It's not working. All right, after round one, group three. Zero. Zero. So. Group two of Moreland Morris and Zeisler. Not bad. Five. Got to start here on the school board. Mm -hmm. And group one of Mangum, Wilmsmeyer, and Leach. Sure. 13. Oh, yeah, let's go. Commanding, Commanding lead after the mental fortitude round. We'll take that. We're going to set up a starting point um, about 10 yards away. The bow and arrow are going to be sitting on the ground. When we say go, sprint up to the bow and the arrow as fast as you can. Pick it up, kill the deer. That's a 366 in the back. One shot, Megan. Only one shot, buddy. You don't get a second. Yeah, baby! That a boy! Hey, you're not going to give it the classic Megan thing? <laughs> nice. That a boy. One shot. Yeah, baby! That a kid. Nice. Nice. I mean, nice. Three for three, baby. Good job, boys. Great job. Hell yeah. Great stuff. Lock across the ground. Yes, yeah. sir. That a boy. That a boy. Oh. One shot. Whoa, look at you! Nice. Good. Real nice. That deer. Oh, wait a minute! I gotta tell you, I'm sorry, but that counts, bro. That's tough. <laughs> Jeez. That's tough. Oh my god. That's tough. That's tough to handle. That's on me, boys. I gotta go all the way out there? And back. <laughs> this is some crap! Oh! <laughs> Box breathing. Not bad, not bad, not bad, not bad. Not bad. Oh, hi. Huh? Oh, I took out the Achilles. We are behind the eight ball. Oh, uh, something's going on. Something's going on. <laughs> Third station. We're going to get more conventional baseball from here, okay? This is definitely measuring accuracy, 100%, and time. If you take your time about this, you safe, you get no points. Right. All right, so you got a time to beat and the accuracy. Two things we're looking at. He's on it, he's on it. He cannot leave the bag, so if he has to leave the bag, it's zero points. Here we go, Mitch. Yeah, smooth as silk, baby. Still playing. Group three, baby. Group three. Yeah. Right. Things are tightening up, and we've got our uh, main competition. Those bats we get to use in the, in the batting cage, so that's going to decide it. Well, last station, 
Um, we're gonna get you guys in the batting cage. We're measuring exit velo and uh, launch angle over seven degrees. I mean, we're trying to get you to basically, you know, runner on third, we need a line drive to win the game type thing. Stand in the box, see two pitches, then three pitches are live. Pick out the bat you like the best. Everybody good with that? All right, give them to me, because you're not using those. You're gonna use that. You're gonna use that. And you're gonna use that. All right, sorry about that. What? Boy, good job. Ooh. Let's go, you got one more. Atta boy. Atta boy. 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 Ooh. Hey! Boy. Nice. Boy. In hell, Jake. Boy. Boy. Here you go, Jake. Battle kid. Hey, boy! Hell yeah! Come on, hell yeah! Hey, Jake, no. Bro, here we go. That's a typical Jake Mangum left handed hit. I mean, like, just captured, you'd be a captured a live Jake Mangum. That's what he does for a living. Like, he lives in it with that, that, that ball right there. He's either beat us with that ball many times. I kind of want to know who thinks they won. I, think I definitely think Team One got it, but I mean, we, we, we had an edge at first. Team One, we had, we had the edge, yeah. but I mean, Group Three with the hitting there at the end. Apparently, they hit 196 off the batter side. I don't allegedly. know. Allegedly, yeah. allegedly. No, it happened. Doing? The final score: Group Three had 32 and a half points. Group Two had 34 points, and Group One had 34 and a half. Oh points. my God! Oh, 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 all right, so we're gonna drop something on y'all, and that's we cheated, right? So when you guys would go leave, come in the locker room, and come out to your test, we would manipulate the test to make things harder or easier for different groups. Mm -hmm. The whole premise of the experiment, especially the the first one, is to try to get you frustrated a little bit. How does our mind and what we expect to happen? How does it play with actually how we perform? Group one got the easiest anagrams. Yes. <laughs> group so two confident. got somewhere in the middle. The guest. I was so group happy. Group three about that. got unsolvable anagrams. <laughs> cool. Uh, we just picked some random letters. And put yeah. them in there. Oh my god. <laughs> that makes so. No much wonder sense. why we got a zero. <laughs> zero. For archery, <laughs> you may have noticed that the yeah. running distance was different and how far back you were shooting was yeah. also different. The running distance was quite a bit different. Um, the, the final group had to run a marathon. Um, <laughs> um, you know, a lot of the others, a little bit, um, to try to get you a little frustrated so that by the second the second circuit, you know, you're not in the same headspace as you were in the first one. Well, right out of the gate, I know that all three of us aren't super experienced with bows either. Yeah. And the team who probably had the best archers came out with the most points. So going into that second one, it was kind of like a, all right, let's 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 see what we can do. But then uh, watching our infield group, and like Trevor and I don't really get many reps of short, and uh, Kinsler hasn't been out there in however long you were saying, but like when we were watching, it was like we were damn near perfect at that one because it was like, hey, our backs are against the wall, and we were saying that to ourselves in the locker room. Like, Anybody want to guess group one, like what, your, what the velocity on the pitching machine was? They had the highest velocity, in my opinion. You think? Yeah, because they came back in after their little so cage fast. thing, and they were like, get on top of yeah. it. Yeah. Group one was 94. Am I correct? Is that right? Yeah. Not group four. Group one was 94. Group two, what do y'all think it was? 
I mean, you've seen how many how many uh, pictures you've seen in your life, Mitch? I mean, <laughs> yeah, it's been I a while. Seen them in a year. I know. <laughs> you know, it's been, been a little. You think bit. it was above ninety four or below? Below. It was ninety eight. Ninety eight. Oh, yeah. Look at us. Y'all was ninety eight. Wait, y'all. The group two was ninety eight. Yeah. Wow. Well, no wonder it's swung in this. <laughs> so you feel That's better about it. Yeah. It was tough. Just yeah. once. Uh, it was tough. Also had group three, y'all were like, 90. Yeah, that's okay. right. Yeah. So, none of it was easy. Oh group number one, the hitting was pretty rough. Like, no one was really putting the ball in play. And Jake got up there, didn't hit the first one, didn't hit the second one. And I honestly thought, there's no way. Like, I was, I, I mean, even if it's Jake Mangum, that's what he does. When the last ball gets thrown, he's gonna hit it. I didn't believe. He freaking ripped it. That won the whole thing in the end because they won by one point, half a point. I'm a contact hitter, and for me, I fell off two pitches. I got 0-2, and I was right where I wanted him. Yeah. Like, I, <laughs> so ridiculous. I have that. I love hitting with two strikes because uh, I know a pitcher can take a deep breath and kind of get a little. He kind of eases his shoulders up a little bit. There's nothing better than hitting with two strikes. I've, I love it. My dad always like he always kind of talked like the Navy SEAL training. Like anytime something sucks for the Navy SEALs, they say full benefit. Like if it sucks, they're fired up about it because mm -hmm. whoever isn't strong mentally is just going to fold under pressure. And like like looking back, like uh, you y'all aren't predicted to win the SEC this year. Who cares? Like that, like that's awesome. Like doubt's the best motivator ever. Well, yeah, the yeah. best the best teams that I played on. Tell me if I'm wrong, Mitch. The best teams because we we both played on. We won a World Series in Boston together, and we all, we went to two World Series in Texas together. So we played on really good teams together. Whenever you play on a team where everybody is competitive as all get up, and all they want to do is win, and they have, and they have fun doing it, it's something special. Something special can happen. I would play first base, and Kinsler would yell at me if I didn't make a play that he thought I should have made. But I, it's not like I'm gonna go in there and like shove him or something, you know? Like I was like, yes, sir. <laughs> like, it's, it's just that competitiveness like I got to the point or I knew if I didn't make a play I was gonna hear hear about it from him like a play that I should have made and same goes for him everybody held everybody else accountable mm -hmm. you know it was like I mean you'd almost say it's like a team full of leaders like everyone had that in their own way that we are not losing we are not losing we don't care what anyone says and when you have that as a whole group it's special, like, whether it's at the big leagues or in college, which, you know, listening to these guys talk, in my experience, is that college is where that happens a little bit easier, right? I mean, that's probably the reason that y'all need to take in this yes. as much as you can. Special stuff happens in college baseball. And the point of this all really is, um, you know, when you're out there playing ball, the variables are gonna change on you, right? For me, accountability is somebody saying, they have to play in that too. Yeah. Like we're all playing this game right now. Like you talk about a mindset and a, and a strong mindset, a, a strong-minded player doesn't doesn't say that because that's a that's just part of the that's just part of what's happening. That's just part of the arena, right? Yeah. You can't control it. So why am I complaining about it? If I complain about that and my and my teammate hears it, now he starts thinking about it, whether he was thinking about it or not. Now he has no choice because I just put it in his head that the shadows are hard and the, I can't feel my fingers because it's too cold or whatever, right? You can choose to show up like that whether you're expected to win or not. Yeah. Even just the physical proximity of you guys during the activities was different. And that is a basis for, you know, giving each other tips, right? Warning each other. I remember, uh, Jake, you were the first one to go with the bow and you come back and you're like, hey, keep an eye out for this, this is a little slick, like yeah. giving those tips to your teammates. All of those behaviors are choices. That was something that Mike and I kind of noticed as well. We were noticing the self-talk. Yeah. Like when, particularly when you all were in the, in the batting cages, especially with those first, those first two looks that you all got, that you all had. What was, what, was your, what was your posture? What was the language that you were using in that moment to sort of evaluate how are you going into your three at bats? What are you sending to your, your teammates? How are you emboldening them or telling them to maybe play in fear? Are you telling yourself this message of I'm incapable? Or are you telling yourself that you're rising to the moment? Phil Jackson kind of shared something that um, 
I felt was really powerful is you're courageous in, um, you're courageous by doing courageous things. That was something that came out of the last dance. And I think the biggest thing is that you all have to continue to do that each and every day. Each moment, each at bat, each game is gonna give you the opportunity to rise to that occasion. Yeah, I think my, my perspective of the, of the day and kind of relating it to where you guys are at in your baseball journey, right? Is to be unrealistic because unrealistic things can happen. No one outside of you guys thinks that you're supposed to win. The Tigers have chipped and clawed their way back. But if you allow that to dictate the way you play, if you allow people on the outside dictate how you feel, then you're probably not gonna be successful. Sports is not won by the, the best team. It's won by the team that plays the best. Driven to the left side, yeah. it's through a base hit! Man around third, here's the throw. It's not in time. The Tigers win a marathon and pull off a second straight up.